Hello, Cancer, Sun, and Rising. So, Mars is transiting through Cancer on September 4th and will remain there until April 18th, 2025. It enters its pre-retrograde shadow in Cancer on October 4th. So, Mars is in your first house and it brings a dynamic boost to your overall energy and presence. You may feel more assertive and driven to pursue personal goals. This transit can increase your physical activity and confidence, prompting you to take charge of your life. However, it could also make you more emotionally reactive. So use this energy to assert your individuality while being mindful of others' feelings. The emotional intensity of cancer can also lead to heightened sensitivity and reactive behaviors. It's crucial to be mindful of how we express anger or frustration, as Mars in Cancer may manifest as passive aggressiveness or emotional outbursts. The key to navigating this transit lies in channeling Mars' assertive energy into constructive outlets such as home improvements, such as home improvement projects, family activities, or creative endeavors that allow for emotional expression. This is a period of emotional awakening and domestic focus, and by embracing the nurturing qualities and tempering of Mars' assertiveness with compassion, we can harness this transit's potential for personal growth and emotional resilience. Then on September 11, Mercury in Virgo sextile Mars in Cancer. So for Cancer Rising, uh, Mercury is ruling the 12th house of hidden matters and self-undoing and the 3rd house of communication. Mars rules the 5th house of creativity and the 10th house of career and pub- public life. And this transit encourages you to bring hidden thoughts and ideas to the surface, facilitate, facilitating better communication in your daily life. I'm sorry about my voice, it's cracking now. Your creative projects and professional endeavors benefit from a balanced assertiveness, making it a good time to push forward with your career goals. And then on September 15, Mars square the nodes of the moon. You may find this transit activating issues related to shared resources, debts, and intimate relationships. Mars squaring the nodes could bring financial challenges or power struggles in your close relation, close relationships or close partnerships. It's a period to address deeply rooted fears and insecurities. So this way there will be more there will be greater transparency and trust and by confronting these issues head on you can transform your approach to intimacy and shared responsibilities so you can make way for more balanced and harmonious relationships and then on september 29 mars trine saturn in pisces so Cancer rising individuals will experience uh, Mars in their ninth house of higher education, travel, and philosophy. Trine Saturn in the same sector, and this alignment encourages you to pursue educational endeavors or philosophical philosophical studies with discipline and focus. It's also an excellent. It's also an excellent time for structured learning, long-distance travel with a purpose, or even teaching others. And your beliefs and worldviews can be solidified, and you might also find yourself taking strategic steps towards expanding your horizons. So that's all I have for you, Cancer. Thank you so much for watching and listening. And if you enjoyed this reading, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps our channel grow. And I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments. So I'll see you again. Good luck. Bye.